India and the world of printing. What about India? Till now we discussed about the developments that are happening in Europe, specifically in London or in England. Now, what happened to India? What was the printing developments in India? What were the first books that are printed? Who brought the printing to India? How was the printing process developed in India? What were the books that were written or what? How did the Indians used to write prior to get the knowledge of printing? I think many of you know this point that manuscripts, the manuscripts were the handwritten scripts which were made on the palm leaves or on less quality of paper which were the earlier available editions of writing written documents for us. So the manuscripts or the handwritten scripts which are actually made on the palm leaves which are not so wealthy or like it's very costly to buy them at the same time they are very fragile very very delicate to handle them so that's how it could not be reached to more number of people if you see that the manuscripts are written in languages like sanskrit arabic and persian languages and also in the vernacular languages so none of the books are written in english language that's very clear for us why i pressed on english language means india doesn't have the knowledge of english till that time so it was only with the arrival of the britishers the necessity to learn and the understand english has been created by the britishers to the indians so indian languages are sanskrit arabic and persian and the other vernacular languages where manu has written his scripts called manuscripts and these are really very expensive and very delicate to handle that is the reason why they are known as fragile and once during this period the other major understanding or development which we feel like it's a shocking is that though india has been colonized or before the colonization pre colonial period bengal the bengal region has developed a network of schools these network of schools were the initial process of developments and the other interesting side of the schools is that they do not have any printed textbooks the textbooks are not at all available for them the teachers used to dictate for the learners what they have to learn and teach students used to write copy them and then memorize them and in the same way they would finish their schooling so in their whole process of schooling they never knew any book named as textbook that is really a very fantastic point and most of the literates of bengal are the people who never know what is a textbook that's a f- astonishing fact to know about the indian culture in the past so the manuscripts are the oldest written available sources for us they are written on the palm leaves they are written in the languages like sanskrit arabic and persian they on the other vernacular languages it was very expensive and they are very fragile very delicate to handle in the pre colonial period itself bengal has developed a series of schools the primary schools in these primary schools the network of the schools there were no textbooks available but without even having textbooks the teachers used to dictate for the learners and the learners used to copy them and memorize them and write the examinations and that's how most of the literate community of the bengal in the earlier period don't know what is a textbook but they were literates they finished their schooling without seeing any textbook now print print entering into india who brought the first print to india the first print was brought by the goa the portuguese missionaries we all know that goa is a place where it has been occupied for a very long time by the portuguese even today we have the portuguese culture more widely spread in goa so goa has been a place which has a remarkable place in the history by getting the portuguese missionaries bringing the printing for us so the print was initially brought by the portuguese into the indian land that is in goa after we got the print then in this portuguese missionaries the most valuable people are the priests who came are the jesuits the jesuits are the people who 
are from the followers of Ignatius Loyola who want who established this uh, Jesuit group in order to rebuild faith in the Catholic Church or on the Catholic Church. So Jesuits came to Konkan where they learned the Konkan language. After learning the Konkan language, they collected several tracts in Konkan language and they started to print those books. So that's how the books are printed in the Konkan language and the printing started in Goa for the first time in 1674. 50 books are printed in Konkan and Kanara languages. Konkani language and Kanara language, the books started to be printed. The next major development what we have is the Catholic priests started to make their valuable contributions in Tamil Nadu, the other side. According to the sources available for us, the first Tamil book was printed by the Catholic priest in 1579. The first Tamil book was printed by the Catholics priests in 1579. And the next, in 1713, we have the Malayalam first book being printed by the priests. So the priests and the missionaries are being valuable contributors to get the printing developed in India. And in order to understand more clearly, in 1710, 32 books were printed in Tamil by the Dutch people's contribution. So it's not only the Portuguese people, it's not only the Catholic priests, it is the Dutch people also have contributed for the growth of printing in India. And later, in 1780, James Augustus, who started to work as the main member of the Bengal Gazette. This man was actually writing a newspaper or editing a magazine which was open to all and free from any kind of pressures. So in his writings, he used to write all the stories about how is the slave trade going on, how are the atrocities going on in India and also he used to publish all the gossips that are being centered around the officials of the company, British English East India Company. So with his writing this on the closer view, the then Governor General Warren Hastings warned Hickey and developed the newspaper pattern system which is favoring towards the company officials. So he started to make a counter one and he started to put the censorship on the news printings. That's how we started to get two newspapers into existence. One of the most major contribution by the Indians is that Indian newspaper is Bengal Gazette which was actually brought into existence by Gangadhar Bhattacharya who is a very close friend of uh, Raja Ramohan Rai. That's how we got the first Indian magazine being printed that too raising the voice against the Britishers without taking any kind of pressure or without being surprised by any kind of pressures put by the British officials. So that's how the printing got developed in India. So the print first it came to Goa in Goa, it was brought by the Portuguese missionaries. After it was brought by the Portuguese missionaries, then printing has been a major activity on the west coast as well as on the eastern coast. On the west coast, starting with Goa, the Jesuit groups of brothers or the Catholic priests started to contribute by learning Konkan. After they learned Konkan, they learned the several tracts of Konkan and they nearly published 50 books by 1674 in Konkani and Kanara language. Afterwards, the Catholic priest in 1579 published the first Tamil book and later the first Malayalam book was printed in 1713. After printing the first books, it's not only the Portuguese people who brought the printing knowledge to India, who brought the entire regional language to be printed and make them to be stabilized. But it was the Dutch people also who did their major contribution in 1710 by bringing 32 Tamil books into existence with the contribution of the Dutch people. So that's how Dutch people also contributed on a larger scale for the development of the regional languages and getting the idea of printing into India. In 1780, when James Augustus Hickey became the main uh, editor of uh, Bengal Gazette, 
he started to write a newspaper magazine which is open to all and free from all pressures in his open magazines he always used to question the atrocities of the britishers wrote an articles openly about the slave trade and also widely gave publicity about the gossips which are being rumored around the company officials of england so with this the then governor general warren hastings was very unhappy with the attitude and the behavior of uh, hickey so he developed the states sponsored newspapers or state favored newspapers and to get some kind of counter for the hickey's newspapers that is the bengal gazette so actually the bengal gazette was been brought into existence by gangadhar bhattacharya who was a very close friend of raja ramohan roy so that's how printing came to india india and the world of printing got connected from the age of manuscripts to the age of modern technology where we have the bengal gazette coming into existence the journey from first century second century ad to the modern period of 19th century ad where it has been a great and drastic changes have been happening in the entire process if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus